So this is your foot, also called your pes. And just like your finger bones, you have phalanges, which for singular will be called your phalanx. And you also have a distal and a proximal phalanx, except for um, your toes for number two, three, four, and five, you have a distal, a middle, and a proximal phalanx. It's only toe number one where you have the distal and the proximal. However, unlike your hand where you have carpals and metacarpals on your foot, you have tarsals and metatarsals. So all of these are your metatarsals and then all of these bones are your tarsals. So if we focus on all of your smaller tarsals, not the big guys down here, um, there's a little mnemonic to remember them and it goes, no cats like icky milk. So if this is your you know, big toe or number one, this is the most medial aspect of your foot, we're gonna start here. And this is no, which the N stands for navicular. This is no cats. The C stands for cuboid. No cats like. This is the lateral cuneiform, which is closer to the lateral aspect of the foot. No cats like icky. This is the intermediate cuneiform between the lateral cuneiform. And lastly, the medial cuneiform. So no cats like icky milk. The M stands for the medial cuneiform, which is easy to remember because your big toe is the most medial. And so you start there and it goes medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform, cuboid, and then navicular. And as for these big um, tarsals down here, you first have your talus. Now this bone articulates with the fibula and the tibia. And then this strong calcaneus down here makes up your entire ankle portion. And you're gonna need to know these bones both articulated like this and disarticulated. Let's see, like this. So disarticulated, this is how they, they would be. They were sitting, you know, articulated. And disarticulated, you just kind of need to eyeball it. This one's way smaller and this one's obviously much thicker and it's a very strong bone. And it doesn't have as much articulating surfaces as the talus does because it's just mainly articulating with the talus and it's just making up the ankle. But as you know, this bone is gonna articulate with the fibula and the tibia and the calcaneus. So, and it's much, much smaller. So you'll need to know them if they were just sitting out like that with nothing else around. Alrighty, and that's it for the foot bones.